Right now we're doing the uh, obstacle emplacement and engagement area development for a, a company defense uh, as part of a, a larger division leaders professional development uh, on engagement area defense. The fun part of being an engineer is you get to kind of use some of your creativity a little bit and thankfully there's so much historical and doctrinal resources that you can use so there's a pretty deep tool belt to reach into. Um, so we were kind of figuring out what we wanted to do with this this area here uh, without just leaving it open. We wanted to, to kind of fix the enemy here so that our maneuver counterparts can kill them in this engagement area. Um, so I was looking through the engineer field data manual and came across log hurdles um, and they're great. They have a, they have a low obstacle profile. Um, so it's difficult to see from a tank as you're you know, moving forward and you're being fired upon by the, by the infantry. And, and the intent behind it is that basically the tanks will hit it and hopefully they'll hit two successively and we hope to dislodge their tracks and hopefully disable them right here, kind of in the middle of their main avenue of approach. So obviously with engineers, you got three main areas of focus, uh, especially in a brigade combat team, and that's mobility, counter mobility, and survivability. And mobility is the one everyone thinks of because they always see the explosions and they look super awesome. But a huge part of that, especially going forward in large scale combat operations is, is gonna be counter mobility. It's kind of that you know hasty transition to a defense, holding key terrain, um, and we really bring a lot to the fight there uh, because we do have such a deep tool belt of obstacles that can help maneuver commanders shape engagement areas to to best suit their abilities to to kill the enemy. Um, and so that's kind of what we're doing today is, is helping the maneuver commanders shape this area uh, with with our obstacles.